Hello YouTube, Ben the Mule Cat here. And a lot of people at the Home and Garden Expo has been asking me how I turn this into into this a flying tram. I just need to refresh the textures on it, which I sort of done before recording. So we're going to show you that today. First off. Once you get the TBM of your choice, uh, res it out, and it's going to keep doing this because there's no guides to find. So all you do is left click and stop. Yeah, that makes it stop flipping out. Then next thing to do, we're going to set up the TBM right now. Uh, decorate it, I mean texture it any way you want. I had to do a certain way for the expo of course. But what you want to do first with the TBM is not delete all scripts but just uh, these ones in the root prem so these can go and that can go so that's one step second step is see all these chairs you have to rename every single one of them to seat just like so because if you don't then the other system that we're going to use that makes the whole thing smooth and awesome won't know where to put the avatar. Uh, leave the scripts in these as they are because they do help. It's just the root prim that you need to remove the scripts from. Now, oh. to help reduce on prim count, um, all you have to do is this little hidden prim this would actually help a little bit it's optional choice but just click click edit link click on it and then unlink and how I got it to show up is control alt T kind of hides the transparency and then once you just have that selected and not the trams just hit delete on your keyboard and it gets rid of that so that's a little bit of a uh, lamb land impact count. Now just leave the tram as it is. Overall cost, it will cost you about 5,000 Londons for both this and the Yavapod and that's what I use to get the thing going. So once you get Yavapod, you know those pods that go around the mainland, get one of these. You can get it at a uh, Yavana store. I'll put the link in the description pod, res it out, and it's going to have a default uh, tour, so just right click, edit, contents, and pod destination, no card, the only one in there, you just wipe that out, select all with control A, and then backspace, and then save. Now you just got to reset the script. So while that's resetting, you just line the pod up with where you want your tour to be to start at. Now when you do this you gotta think about the path that you want your part to go because it's very important especially when it's this size when the tour is like that big that long. So for in here it's a 62 by 62 because I built it for a friend. So you want to start with your starting point. Now this point is just to get it going, it only be, the part will only go to it the one time before starting its tour. So you can see I sat on it and no tours. So hold, uh, press left click on the pod and hold for a few seconds and this comes up. So now I gotta put in a name. So pod test, I'm gonna say in local chat and then hit confirm. Well, it's sort of an avatar. Well, this is new. Oh, yeah, that avatar is just ignore. And now we're off. So, right click, edit. Get your pod in the starting position. I'm going to do 55. And we're just going to go around this room just to show you how we do it. So, um. So, what you want to do first, yeah, set pose. 
now be your starting position. It's the first one in the whole list, so you don't really have to know where the coordinates are because it'll be the first one. So what you want to do is just edit, move the part up to about yeah, let's say back here before the turn and set pose and this is where your part tool is going to start so I'm going to hit physical so I know because it really helps a lot with smoothness and I'll show you later how to do the uh, how to make it phantom as well so you just move the part up to your next stop and in this case it's going to be a turn so all you have to do, you don't have to turn it here because it will turn on its own. I have to set pose and there you go. And you just turn it or you can just leave the part facing where it is. And let's go about here. That way the thing knows what it's doing. It'll be a nice smooth turn. Let's go about here. <laughs> Now if you want to make a stop, you sit pose, and then if you want it to say some, uh, then you hit pause, and let's give it 15 seconds. Now if you want to say, have it say something, press say text, and then you put into local te cha uh, test stop, I'm going to say, test stop, and then hit confirm, and there it goes, it's being recorded. And then, if that's it for your t for your loop tour, you close this. Uh, I screwed up, so let's do one more because I kind of screwed that up. Once you get your pod to the last spot of your loop tour, you just hit sit, set, and end. And as you saw. I had a flood of text come up on me. So what you want to do is open chat with Control H and left click on the chat and then scroll all the way up with it until you get to this little bracket thing right above pot testing and you hit Control copy. I did that three times but it's okay. So now once that's all done and I just realized I had transparency highlighted the whole time you edit, go into the thing here, and then you paste in your thing. <coughs> now, I kind of screwed that up, so I'm going to put that right there. And, uh, yeah, right after podcast, you want to set this to false because you want it moving to the start position first. Or things are just going to go wonkies. Like that. So you hit do that, save it, and then hit reset scripts. Close and close. It. It's going to count down as you can see, and it's finished. Now it's just hop in and bide. It'll see how it's like jerking first and then starts going slowly. And it turns into the turn to the next waypoint. And then it should be turning in in a second. There it goes. <coughs> and this is how Yuvana does her pod tours. It sits here for 30 seconds, uh, 15, but I'm going to click it just so I can go. And I'll show you how to prevent people from doing that. Because there is a option for that in the Yava pods. And excuse me, but I am a smoker and I do like to smoke. So there it goes, pod tour ended. So, now it only looped and then plot me back here. So how do you do the loopy loop?
Well, that's easy as you can see here. I did the loopy looper here. This is actually the whole thing for the uh, expo. I had to go in and fix and edit, but majority is there. So what do you want to do is open your note card. That's in your part. And then start adding some stuff like handle collision. That helps a lot. Trust me, it helps. Uh, Phantom, true. So I'm just copying it over, but you can <coughs> type it all out. And all these ones right here, you want as well. The speed would be 10, that way it's not so fast or too slow. Smooth rate, it would be turning, like the rate of the turn. And v v -Rot is, um, if you want, if you got, like, um, uh, your tour going up and down, you want that as well. You want your train or whatever to go up and down, not just flat and then rise up and then rise down as if you're just editing it but it will actually turn into the the way it's moving so all that copied out now remember I said remember your first position which is right there and then after that after physical true you want to do a loop now, the rest of it is optional. Um, if you're going to use one of uh, Yovana's um, tour stop thingies, what you want to do, oh, I didn't do it in this one, is to have it say on channel negative one, let's just like, oh, right after loop, and then at the end of your tour, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here, you want to do end loop right there. So, Go into your thing right at the bottom before that closing bracket, just type in loop. Now, right before that, if you wanted to, you can do a another pause. Oops, <laughs> capitals. Pause the two vertical dots and then let's do 20 seconds. So it pauses, it comes to the stop, and it's gonna say to dot slash negative one arrive that way oh w yeah with a D that way if you use uh, one of the included part stopper check things um, what is it was it the auto res or the color or the time fired <coughs> it'll they listen for that and know that the part has arrived and then um, up here you could also do say to let the thing know that you're departing is departed so that's it and now I'll we'll go through a loop a loop-de-loop -loop. and that's just it for the setup and the uh, file Yeah, that's it. So that's it. Now, before you reset, let's do some setup, see? Eh? Now, to go from just a little pod to that. So I'm going to move it. And yeah, I'm actually going to move this up a bit so you can see where I'm going to put it. Now, depending on where you want your tram at, how high up, above the track that you've set up all depending on where you put the part at so the part's going to be the root prim remember that root prim so line it up right in the middle of the tram now to save on more uh, prim count you just select the windshield and these are two separate seats you don't really need them because the tram itself has seats. So it's just something like that. Unselect the the sphere itself and then hit delete. And it'll delete everything but this. This is what you need. So just fill it all in. Make it a sphere again. 
and then what I like to do is hide it all so transparent yay no one sees that you're using a, a yellow pot and you can actually that is actually not there we go okay well rotation of it itself is doesn't matter let me just put it down control alt T to see it and you can just scale it down if you want just make sure you can see it so yeah that looks centered and then without holding shift you just click on the trim as if you're edi editing it and then hold shift on your keyboard I not sure if right shift will work but I know left shift will left shift that and then hit link on there there now you got your Yavapod and you can actually name it to like then test pod here it doesn't matter you can have anything it doesn't really matter so back into content once you have it linked up you hit reset script close off the edit window turn off oh whoa oh yeah I forgot about that. You're supposed to remove the script out of the doors as well, you donkey. I and doing this is a real pain in the butt because I screwed up last time. Yep, they gotta go the other way. Also, I noticed another screw up too, but meh. Okay, that's as best I can get it because I'm a freaking dumbass. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks like crap. Anyways, you get the picture. Delete the scripts from the door. Let's do that and delete. And then this door, delete. And then the other side, the other two here, delete. Delete because then it won't know that it's the wrong way or they won't move so if you got your tram facing the wrong way because the windows are supposed to be that's the front where the windows go up so just edit edit link set and then hold shift and then left click on your little ball there and then turn it around and I have no idea why those things are right there but okay <sighs> reset this again because I screwed up okay see it's counting down on how all of the transparencies and it's ready to roll so just get on in and hit pod test Now I'll move to the first starting spot and then I'll go physical and then start its tour. And you see how I mean with the VWAT vertical rotation? It actually really comes in handy. Stops here for the 15 seconds but I'm gonna click it so it keeps moving. And I'll go round and around and around. And it'll stop here and then continue again through a whole loop. Through a whole loop de loop. So while that goes around, let me explain some things. Uh, touch off right here. That will prevent people from touching it. Like if you want it to stop at a stop for 30 seconds or 15. People with with that turned on, people We'll be able to click it to make it go soon. <laughs> so
So with that turned off, people won't be able to. So it's pretty good. Kind of good. Yeah, and that's all it basically is. So, just a little review. Delete the scripts and the room and in the doors of the TVM. You can use this model or Yes, we got a lot of stuff. The mesh tool as well. Um, if it will load, there it is. So you can use this as well. Either one will be great, or any other terrain, or anything, any kind of vehicle will work with. So you just edit that. Now remember, delete the scripts in the doors. Anyways, you get the picture. And you just edit the seats right there. So yeah, I hope this helped you know how I did this. And I keep getting into it. Pretty smooth, eh? Now if you want to touch it without getting in, you hold shift again and just left click and it'll go. Very handy for when you're testing it. But still don't want anyone else to screw up the timer. Left click and it'll start it to loop all over again. Yay. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, there it is. Hey, come on, work. Ah, my HUD's not working now, so bye-bye.